and I'm trying to film for so long now that my tea went cold and my hair frizzed up even more than it did before. My hair was like here and now it's here so I'm tired but I already did my makeup so it's gonna come off and I reheated my tea so this video is going to be done whether I like it or not. So welcome back to my channel I guess. It feels really weird saying that I don't like it but I'm not going to say that. I am so freaking excited for this video. Um, you know you have winter people, people who like you know the snow and winter holidays and whatnot and we have summer people and we have spring people i am an autumn person i have been waiting for this the whole year i i do not like summer it is my actually no it's not my least favorite season spring is my least favorite season because i don't like rain even though it does rain in autumn but i feel like I feel like it doesn't rain that much. I like it when it's dry and I like it when it's kind of cold. I love everything about it. I love the cold-ish weather. It's kind of warm but there's like a nip in the air. I love the leaves changing. I love that I can wear boots. I love that I can wear leather jackets. I love that I can wear scarves and cute gloves and hats and just I love everything and everything. I love that I can drink tea. I'm channeling my autumnal vibes i've got you know the dark purple nail polish and the, the lip which i i wear lipstick like this every season because it's like my favorite color this video is just vibes really this video is going to be complete autumn vibes just to get you into the spirit of autumn because it's my favorite season and um it just makes me happy so i want to talk about things that make me happy it's going to be really chill um it's going to be kind of long so i've got a cup of tea i'm getting some biscuit if i want to i'm just going to chat i'm going to chat about loads of different things i'm going to talk about books music movies makeup perfume everything everything but all in the spirit of autumn I'm so excited! <laughs> so, now I want to talk about movies and TV shows and series to watch during autumn um, to like curl up to in bed, especially since like we're all in quarantine and everyone's just watching all the series. I'm always asking on my, um, on my Snapchat for movie and series recommendations. So, these are some of my favourites for the autumn season. First one, I might sound like a broken record, but is Emma. So the movie adaptation of the book that I was just talking about, and I talked about the movie as well. I already explained the plot, but it's a really cozy, really sweet film. I, th I feel like it would be good to watch as a group of friends or alone. It's, it's just a good film. It's a nice heartwarming film. The same way, um, what's the book? What's the movie? What's the movie? What is it called? Clueless. Oh, I kept thinking of the word cheapless. The, the movie, if you like Clueless, then you'll like Emma. It's the same plot, but a bit different. And the 2020 version is nice because it's a comedy. So it has very comedic aspects in it. And there's really good actors. Miranda Hart is in it. And Bill Nye, not the science guy, but the British actor. And they're both hilarious in the film, so. My next recommendation is an anime. Um, it's one of my favourite animes actually, um, and it's set in that it's 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 set in high school. The students are high school students, so it's got that kind of coming to school autumn vibes that I feel like would be enjoyable and awesome. Um, it's called My Little Monster. It's about a girl who is like a super nerd, she's super intellectual, very studious and just doesn't have any interest in making friends. She just wants to get her grades and do well in her career. And she's probably in like what I would call year 10 maybe or year
or 11, maybe year 10. Like the, the, the later years in high school, but not the oldest, I'd say. And um, she, so midway through the year, this boy joins the class. Um, and he joins the class and he's very disruptive. Like he has very disruptive behavior. He's very random and he's got a lot of like behavioral issues and he ends up being even though she sees him as stupid stupid even though she sees him as super dumb um he ends up being basically smarter than her it's it's a it's a uh it's a typical anime in the sense that obviously there's romance involved with it but for the most part it's a comedy it's very light-hearted it's funny the characters are funny the juxtaposition between the characters is really funny because he's very light-hearted and really stupid and silly and goofy um and then he's got like this ridiculous um anger like anger management issues like he has the most uncontrollable temper in the world he's always getting into fights always punching people without actually understanding the context of the situation and the girl is just really cold-hearted and just um really blunt and she's hilarious and the you know the connection between the two characters is funny the side characters are funny one of the side characters is a chicken um she's very important to the plot i highly recommend it it's a good anime if you haven't watched anime before and you're getting into it it was one of the first animes i watched when i was getting into anime um and i think it's not too it's not too hardcore i watch it on crunchyroll so you can watch it there for free um you can also get a free trial for crunchyroll so i'll leave that in the description box as well so you can get a free trial for crunchyroll so my next recommendation is one of my favorites it's another series and if you know me you might be able to guess what i'm about to say so i'll give you a second if you know me you should comment down below what it is because you should know what it is because i'm obsessed with this program so i'll wait did you comment Okay, so the series I'm going to recommend, obviously, is Doctor Who. Doctor Who is my, my favourite TV show ever. I take that back. Friends is my favourite TV show ever. But after that, Doctor Who is my favourite TV show. It has everything I like. It's funny. It's sci-fi. And it's David Tennant. <laughs> April, May-ish is when I started watching it. Watched it from season one. So not the not classic Doctor Who. Um, I'm talking about um, modern Doctor Who with um, Chris Eccleston um, that season. And for the longest time, I always hated Chris Eccleston's Doctor. Like I had very vague memories of watching it because I was quite young when that season came out. And um, I, I did watch it, but I remember not liking him. But I feel like I didn't like him because I was so in love with David Tennant as the Doctor um, that anyone in comparison to him, I was like, ugh. But when I rewatched it, honestly, okay, David Tennant is still my number one and Matt Smith is still my number two, but Chris Eccleston is up there. Like, he might be on par with Matt Smith for me. Um, highly recommend. Watch it from season one, all the way from season one. Rewatch Chris Eccleston, rewatch Doctor Who. It's the best series in the world. Um, I love it. I love Doctor Who so much. I love it so much. I really want to cosplay Doctor Who. If not Doctor Who, then maybe a Doctor Who character. But none of his sidekicks really like speak to me. Rose's outfit is meh. Martha's outfit, meh. Donna doesn't really have a signature outfit. Clara, maybe. So my last recommendation is along the same lines as Doctor Who, and it is Sherlock Holmes. Um, I love Sherlock Holmes as do I love Sherlock Holmes as much as I like Doctor Who? I don't know. I have mm, I have to be in very different mood moods to watch either one. I can't be in the same mood. The mood that I'm in for Doctor Who is not the same mood I'm in for 
shot combs so yeah so yeah um is there much to say Sherlock Holmes I just I, th I just feel like British television is very appropriate for autumn because British television is very representative of British weather it's like gloomy and grey and in autumn it can be gloomy and grey and I don't know if that's a good thing because you might want to see something a bit summery to kind of liven your spirits but I don't know I think Sherlock Holmes I don't need to explain what it is we all know what Sherlock Holmes is Obviously, it's a very intellectual program. Um, I recommend the series, obviously, with Benedict Cumberbatch, but I also recommend one of the movies. I can't remember the exact title of it. Um, it's not the one with Benedict Cumberbatch in it. Is there a movie? Is there a Sherlock Holmes movie with Benedict Cumberbatch? I don't think so. Um, say that name three times fast. Wow. But um, I'll insert the movie. It's the one with Stephen Fry, although I think. I think Stephen Fry is in all of the, the, the Sherlock franchises, like he's in the TV show and in the movies, I believe. But either way, Sherlock Holmes in awesome, cup of tea, I think that's perfect, amazing, awesome, ultimate autumn vibe. So the next few things I'm going to talk about are going to be more beauty related. These are all from Primark, believe it or not. This is from Primark. I don't know if it's just me, but I always associated Primark anything with bad quality, <laughs> but especially nail polishes. I think I tried to Primark nail polish once and it was it was like kids nail polish, like it was watery and streaky and just ugh. Um but maybe a year or so ago, um I was in Primark and I saw some of the nail polishes on offer and I loved it was during autumn and um, they had a bunch of autumn shades, which are my favorite kind of nail polish shade. And so I bought some because they were one pound, so it was like, eh, not much lost. And um, the formula's pretty sick. Like, huh? Specifically, this formula, this is the gel effect. This is the normal Primark nail polishes. It just says um, the PS nail polish one coat debatable try and get the gel effect the normal nail polishes are fine as well they tend to be a bit not watery but these the gel ones are more opaque the nail polish ones are not one coat majority of the time unless it's like a dark color i think i have a dark i have a navy in the nail polish one coat which pretty much is a one coat but other than that they all need two maybe three coats i love navy colors i love mustard colors i love deep burgundy reds i don't mind a deep green like jewel tones i like jewel tones in general i like jewel tones with my makeup and i like jewel tones with my nail polish um so i highly recommend the primark nail polishes specifically the gel effect nail polishes and they're really shiny you don't even need a top coat you can add one but you can get away without one i don't know a lot of nail polish brands that offer the shade range that i prefer and have good formulas like there's um model model owns model one something like that and i've heard they have a good formula i haven't tried it personally um but i don't like a lot of their shades there's oh what is the i think it's called buttercup london um is another brand but they're kind of pricey um i used to use barry m but i find their nail polishes are too thick i don't like them but if you have any recommendations please let me know some affordable or if they're just really good then fine but i don't like essie and i'm not that impressed by the opi shades like i feel like when i was younger there were so many opi shades that i liked but now every time i look them up i can't see anything so let me know. So now that I've talked about nail polish, I also want to talk about lipsticks because lipsticks and awesome just go together, don't you think? Um, so the first lipstick I want to talk about is what I have on right now. This lipstick is by Collection 2000. It's like a drugstore. Did you say drugstore for a British brand? It's like a high street brand. It's a really cheap lipstick. I think it's like four pounds. It's the Collection 2000 lipstick in Plum Sensation number 20. Um, I'm really picky when it comes to these kind of shades. I love dark 
vampy purple shades but it has to be the right undertone i like a mix between this with a bit of a blue undertone because i like it dark because sometimes when a purple has too much red in it it just looks like a dark red this like i want a like a black like a blackberry but i haven't found that shade yet that kind of blackened purple i'm still looking um i'll keep you posted and the second lipstick I want to talk about is this one. I've got two of them actually, but this is a different shade. Um, these are the L'Oreal Paris Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks, the Le Chocolat, the chocolate line collection. These smell like chocolate. They smell like chocolate pudding. Um, but the lipstick is amazing. The lasting power is ridiculous like these are actually hard to get off you need quite a hardcore makeup remover like micellar water will work but you'll literally be scrubbing at your lips for a couple of minutes and you need like an oil to take these off um this is the shade oh oh this is the shade 70 percent yum um 856 it's it's the dark brown shade um i also really want like a really dark brown i love dark lipstick um but this isn't dark enough this is the same color as me and hint hint wearing lipstick that's the same color as you doesn't look good it looks darker on my hand my hand is a bit lighter than my face but when you put it on there's not enough dimension between my skin tone and this um but i use this as a lip liner and it's great as a lip liner because it doesn't budge whatsoever it just stays on um so i highly recommend these and i also want to get the red shade even though i have enough red lipsticks but because the lasting power is amazing i feel like that would be an awesome red because it's matte um it's transfer proof they do this does not transfer and it lasts forever so i highly recommend and i feel like it's very awesome because it's like chocolatey so, the last thing we're going to talk about um is perfume i'm a huge 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 perfume fan i would say for me it goes shoes and then perfume i love perfume so much um i am building myself a little bit of a collection these are some of the perfumes some of them are empty I'm not going to talk about these ones though, I just wanted to show off my little- ah! Still building my perfume collection, I have a bunch that I want, but for now, these are the ones that I kind of um, gear towards for winter and autumn. So the first one is- I'll talk about this one first. The first one is um, Decadence by Marc Jacobs. It's kind of tacky in my opinion. Um, and then it's kind of beautiful at the same time. I can't make up my mind. It's got like this tassel at the end. Um, but I would never carry this around as a purse. So, yeah. Um, this is the only Marc Jacobs fragrance that I like. I don't like any of his other fragrances. They're a bit too grassy for me. This is on the sweeter side, but it's also fruity. Which are two things I don't necessarily love in a fragrance. I like fragrances that are sweet but eh, something sweet but edgy i like something that you're not suspecting to be there to be there i like a kind of mass i normally like a kind of masculine note or just something a bit quirky um i hate mainstream kind of scents i would say this is a little bit mainstream it's it's very um pleasing i think a lot of people would like it but for me this is one of the only fruity fragrances that i like the other one is actually my signature fragrance which is weird because i normally don't like fruity scents um it's like sugar plum and chocolate it's nice i really like it it's a good autumn scent i feel like you could still wear it in the winter i prefer to wear something a bit deeper in the winter but you could still wear this in the winter this this would work so mark jacob decadence i highly suggest if you like something something if you want something deeper for autumn because you kind of need those deeper scents that will last in autumn those light fresh scents don't last um but if you still want something quite fresh i recommend that the second fragrance is angel muse by mugler um i really like mugler i know that uh what's it called angel is the 
flag shit of me there. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of animalistic fragrances and angel. Angel? Angel? Alien. Alien. Alien is very animalistic. Not my, not my style. I do like angel. Angel Muse is Nutella, but make it a perfume. It's Nutella and it's also patchouli. It's Nutella and patchouli. That's literally all it is. Nutella and patchouli. And patchouli is that kind of musky note that you smell in perfumes a lot. That kind of musky, almost dirty. So it, yeah, it can sometimes smell kind of dirty. It, it, it will give a maybe like a masculine vibe to a perfume. It will be that earthy scent. They put it in a lot of fragrances because it helps the fragrance last longer. Patchouli is a very polarizing scent. Some people love it, some people hate it. I like it. Um, if you don't like patchouli, don't wear this. But this is really nice. It has a sweet, almost honey-like, very patchouli-like initial scent. And then when it dries down, it dries down to that hazelnut chocolate. Like It just smells like chocolate. I really like this. This is for like the end of autumn when it starts heading into winter and it gets really cold because it's it's a strong scent. Um, so when it's still kind of fresh in the air because you still get those warm days in autumn, I wouldn't wear it. Um, but once it starts getting really cold or at night, you could wear this at night. Um, I'll put a link for this in the down bar as well. So yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to talk about. My throat is dry. is cold <laughs> but um the last thing technically that i'm going to talk about is i want to put a little recipe at the end i'm hoping to kind of make it a thing to put a little recipe of something in all of my videos where it's appropriate because if you didn't know i really like cooking so i'm gonna put a tea recipe because i feel like autumn and tea are like synonymous and um chai chai tea i should be saying chai because chai means tea so essentially i'm just saying tea tea i'm gonna put a chai recipe that's the video uh i'm sorry if it seems kind of rushed at the end and if i seem a bit disorientated i've had a really long day a lot of things went wrong during this video that you didn't see behind the scenes i had a lot of problems setting up my camera camera my phone um I forgot to get the actual items that i talked about and i had to go get the books and then i broke a nip it was it a lot of stuff happened um but i'm still really happy to make this video because i love autumn and also makes me happy so talking about autumn makes me happy and um i hope that you enjoyed some of the things that i talked about in the video i've never done this kind of chill talk kind of thing um i'm you know I've, I've done pretty different varied videos on my channel i don't think there's been like one set theme although i do plan on making quite a lot of cosplay videos but they take a long time to make so bear with me but they are coming um and i hope to make more kind of like videos like this maybe i'd like to do videos talking about fragrances because i really like perfume maybe some makeup videos although I don't think I'm that good at makeup. I just, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm that amazing at makeup, but I have fun doing makeup. And I, you know, what? I take that back. I think I am pretty good at makeup, um, but I'm good at doing makeup on me. I haven't really done makeup on other people, but I like makeup. Um, this channel is just a personal outlet, really, for everything that I love. So because I love autumn, I just wanted to talk about autumn and I wanted to talk about the things that remind me of autumn and that make me happy and so that means books and chai and nail polish and perfume and all things like that. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and my voice wasn't too annoying and I know that maybe I wasn't looking at the camera properly and things might be a bit wonky and the lighting might be a bit weird but bear with me I'm a new youtuber I'm still new to this I'm still getting used to these kind of things and hopefully the quality will get better over time and I'll feel more comfortable in front of the camera because honestly I talk to myself like every second of every day but once you put a camera in front of you it makes things really awkward it's like there's a third person in the room and you don't feel like as it doesn't feel as private anymore like oh you can hear me mm, it's embarrassing <laughs> but um 
I hope you enjoyed my video um, and I hope if you liked this one you watch my other videos as well like I said they're all kind of random but I think they're cool so go watch them okay <laughs> bye